Hey guys, I'm LB, and if we remember last time we made a ramp here, it went through the floor and we can actually see it underneath here <laughs> because of the stairs. I think even if I look through these gaps in just the right way, yep, if I look through the gaps just the right way, you can see it there. But anyway, we are back for the third episode of Glitch Space, episode two, because I start counting at zero. Oh, I didn't even get to walk through the gate, and the game's already doing weird things to me. Alright, so. What do we have here? Another namespace? Is there a way for me to avoid touching this thing? Nope, apparently there's not a way to avoid this. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be clever. What all can we do now? Oh, look at this! We've got all kinds of things. Objects. Physics. Got all of those. What about numbers? Still don't have 90. 90 has still been taken away from us. Unfortunate. But hey, we got a long Y back! Ooh! All sorts of transforms. Now we can do rotations, translations, and stretches, all in one. Wait, what? Wait, so we have these abstractions, but then we also have these abstractions. What? Main refers to the keyboard you are programming. I'll take your word for it. Okay, I remember this now, so this still doesn't really make much sense in terms of the way it's implemented. But let's see here, let's just do an example, for instance. Uh, a long... Let's say a long X. Yeah, so like, you would think that it would go the other way around to where this stretch would go into the cuboid, but... No, instead... I don't know, it's like, this is the part, I remember when I was watching the indie impressions, this is the part that didn't make much sense to me. Like, it seems backwards almost. Unless I can do main twice, and then go into multiple things, that might be a possibility. Let's try transform, stretch it in the other axis. Let's see if it even works, because it didn't work the last time I tried this. We'll, we'll see. I will do... nope. Vectors along Z. Yeah, you can only do one or the other, unfortunately. Apparently this one takes priority, which is strange. So what's the point of doing it this way if you can still only do one or the other? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why have it look all backwards and weird like this? This is- this doesn't make any sense in terms of a programming perspective. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe the game will tell us. Where do I actually need to go? What is that? Why can't I edit that from here? I can clearly see it! It's clearly a visible thing I can see! Whatever. This game... This game makes no sense sometimes. There we go. Now I can edit this. What does physics do? I don't want to mess with collisions. Um. Hmm. Let's try... I think in the Z direction? Come on now. I wish I could just- like, I wish from here I could just click and drag out, but... Like, here I should definitely be able to click and drag out, because that's the last thing, but whatever. No polish. No polish in this game. Right, well that's not useful. <laughs> what about... this? Wait a sec. Can I chain these together somehow? Is that a thing I can do? No, because this doesn't have any output. What? Hold on a sec. 
I can take the output from that... Can I transform it again? Along the same axis? Is that a thing I can do? Uh... Along Z... No, that- What? This doesn't even make- The game's not even following its own rules. What? How- What? This doesn't even make any sense. I don't even understand why the game won't follow its own rules. Alright, well... Oh, maybe I need to go up there? Is that a thing? Sure. Let's- let's- let's work on the assumption that that's where I need to go. Oh, that was weird. Wait, can I do that again? <laughs> that was weird. Huh. Well, anyway, we need, let's go up there, right? So let's stretch and trans- uh, let's stretch and move. Why don't we? Stretch... Move... And... let's see here... Nope. Wrong thing. Vectors. Along Y... Along Y... And... 20. And... 20. How high does that get me? Not high enough. Oh, maybe high enough. Oh, come on! Let's try this again. What can I do from here? Nothing? Well, then where am I he Where the heck am I supposed to go, man? Oh, come on, I should totally be able to make that. You can't tell me I can't make that. Right-clicking is actually more reliable than what the game told me to do was left-clicking. Just because left-clicking sometimes tries to place items, and right-click never tries to place items. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, maybe I just need to put this in a better position. Does it keep my code? Yes, excellent. Can I get up here? Nope, it's an invisible wall. Because why wouldn't it be? Well. Fine. Let's try along X instead. What am I standing on? Did I find a way to stand on something? What the heck am I standing on? <laughs> um... Hello? Hello? What am I standing on? Apparently nothing. Okay, let's- let's clear all this out. Let's do the same thing here. Let's see. We want to move it in the Z direction. And... by 20. Sure. And then we also want to stretch it in the Z direction. Uh... abstraction. Stretch object. in the... Z direction... by 20. There we go. We should be able to get over there. Whoa! Okay. Whew. So. Next up. Whoa! <laughs> Careful now, holy crap. And then we want to do along X. Vectors... along X. There we go. 
that's... kinda useful? Not really? I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. There we go. That works. I'll take it. Wow. Such a large gap. The game didn't even tell me where I needed to go, and so I ended up going up first, which is not at all what I needed to do. And the whole time I needed to come over here. An objective marker might actually be nice, considering these- these large-scale gaps that the game sometimes throws me into. Maybe not do that. There we go. Oh. Hmm. I can't go any further than that. Along Y, maybe I can jump to there, perhaps? Yes, maybe. Geronimo! I made it! Wow! What is this one set to? A hundred. Oh, there's more stuff. What is this one set to then? Still a hundred, huh? <laughs> I can land up here, that's cool. Um I do wanna look before we leave. What was at the top of this waterfall I was trying to get up? Absolutely nothing. Well, isn't that disappointing? What is over there? I mean that's clearly the way we need to go, but what is was that? Just decorative? I guess it's just decorative. Oh, I hit my head. Oh, I hit my head again. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Oh, that- I didn't actually want to fall out the window, I just wanted to look out the window. <laughs> so here's the thing, I sort of coast before I stop. But if I jump, I stop dead in the middle of my jump arc. I don't continue with my jump arc at all. Doesn't make any sense. Why would you design the physics of the character's movement like that? A lot of games, and a lot of game designers have said that the most important thing in a game is the way it feels when you move your character, and I think this game has gotten that completely wrong. So it feels wrong to move around in this game. What is going on? I can't tell! I can't even see anything here, this is just all one solid color to me. Can you guys see anything? Like, there might be a bottomless pit here that I can't even see. Why is it all a solid color? Holy crap, it's so dark here, why is- <laughs> I can't tell anything. Right, well, let's see what we can do today. Numbers. 50? Well, they gave us 50 days before we get to 90 again. At least it's bigger than 20. <laughs> Let's try... Oh, we can't stretch. No! Are you gonna make me do... No, I can't do any of those. Physics. Use collisions. No. Object is solid. No. Actually, what happens if we make the object not solid? Is there something below it? Hey, fancy that! That was actually what we were supposed to do. I thought we meant to go- I thought we were supposed to go up. I was really just guessing. <laughs> what is this thing here? Apparently that's a namespace. Can we do... no we can't. Can we do... 
Now we can't do any of these. What about... Nope, still can't do any of that either. What the heck am I supposed to do then? Physics? I guess they want me to do the same thing as before, but without using the abstraction, they want me to use the actual physics option here. Alright, not a problem. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what they want me to do. They're just trying to teach me about the two different ways to do things. Apply force upwards. Uh... Nope, nope. Let's try... 50... in the Y direction. Wait, what? Oh, it just takes a number directly. Okay, I thought I had to put in a direction. It's, uh, it does say upwards, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess, I guess it does say upwards. Interesting. Another apply force. So let's see, vectors... in the y direction, please. By... 50 days. There we go. Not much to do around here, it seems. Very nice looking, though. So what are we gonna get this whole apply force thing... for myself? I'd very much like to have that. I would expect it to ap appear in the physics section. Maybe in the next puzzle. Well, I say puzzle, but so far <laughs> none of them have really been puzzles yet. We touch another namespace. Colliding object refers to an object colliding with the keyboard you are programming. Oh, neat. Apply force, physics. Hey, we have an apply force thing now. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Right, so. Let's try... My favorite direction. Followed by... My favorite number. Not actually my favorite number, but I just like... I just can't stop thinking of when the announcer says 50 days in Portal 2. Right, well this isn't mu really getting me much. I can't place this under me, apparently. This is not... This is not something I can just place willy-nilly. I have to be on the ground, and I have to be not standing on it in order to place it. Surely I should be able to interact with that from here. Hmm... Well, let's try something else, like X. Whee! Not quite. <laughs> um... I think- I think I have a problem. Help! 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 You've respawned me into a death trap, Dev! What the heck, Dev? I can't get out of this now. And I'm trapped. Wow, this game has a lot of polish. They really tested it well. <sighs> At least there's that option in the escape menu. Okay, let's try this again. What can we do? That's it. We can't stretch it, move it, or rotate it. Can we do both of these at the same time? Why did that move down? That makes no sense for it to go down. Let's try... this one in the Y direction. And we'll try the other one... in the X direction. Can I- can I connect a number to multiple places? Yes, I can! Look at that. Isn't that fancy? So, will this actually work? No. It only does one or the other. Come on! That should totally work! Like, I'm clever enough to think of that. 
Why won't you let me make that work? We already established, though, that it doesn't really respect your ideas, though. Right. So. How about... How about... How about we do this? And then we do the same thing here. Hey, well it kinda worked, but it also would've put me into a death loop again. <laughs> oh man. So I can edit that from here now. But I think the main thing... Let's try a long Z. Oh, well, so much for that jump. There we go. <laughs> I can go anywhere I want now. Oh man, you just gave me the best thing ever. <laughs> Portable trampoline! Oh yes. Where do I actually want to go with it though? Hey, look at that. Okay, what about this? Nope, that guy is pretty much the same thing. And I don't have anything else, right? Yeah. That's all I got. What if I make this guy not solid? I don't think I want to do that, but let's just try it. Yeah, that that's not a good idea. There's nothing under it. Can I not get up there with my current equipment? Is that just not a thing? I totally should be able to get up there, right? Wait a sec. Did I see that right? I think it started connected, almost. No. It must have been a weird visual glitch. I thought it started connected, even though it tries to disconnect them each time you use it. Hey, I'm up here! Can I get up there, though? Oh, what is this? This is just a random area I'm not supposed to be, I guess. I guess I'm just not meant to be up here, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Can't go around that edge. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know where to go, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing random stuff now. <laughs> I'm just walking around places I'm not supposed to be. I hate, kind of annoyed that it always resets. Like, I could easily reset it myself, you know. Oh, crap. Oh, come on! <laughs> the movement is so finicky in this. There we go. Alright, let's get a good vantage point here. Where am I meant to go? Like, there's clearly that thing. I thought there was something in there. But like I already tried using that, I'm pretty sure. And this is the literally the fastest movement speed. I cannot move any faster than this. Alright, so let's try 
How about we try this? There we go. Apply force. 50. And the Y direction, please. That didn't quite work the way I was hoping it would. Okay, now it's working the way I hoped it would. Apparently that's what I was supposed to do. Or something like it. What is this? It's like a weird... Oh, it's just weird objects. That's like the data flow, almost. What a weird area. Where are we now? Hey look, stairs! That I can clip my head through. <laughs> this game has a lot of polish, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's like they spent years working on the game, making it just right. Huh. Vectors can affect multiple directions at once. Finally! Thank you so much! I've wanted that for so long! Where is that now? Uh... Physics? No. Is it under transform? No. 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 Colliding? Oh yeah. I know about that. Where the heck is this option? Wait, how did I just- what did I just click on? Oh, I see, it just changes... Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> not quite what I expected. Alright. We want in the Y and X. Gotcha. Actually, let's do the numbers first. 50. We want... Y and X. Good enough. That should work. And then, objects, colliding object. Whee! Oh no. Oh, you put me back here, huh? What, we have music now? Since when? Right, I guess there was music earlier, which is really weird music. New name space. What can we do now? Only apply forces. Can we do 90? No, still can't do 90. Okay, still have a lot of limitations, it would seem. Anything else around here, or is this literally the only thing I can interact with for, for miles? Translate, transform. Let's see where the origin is for this guy. There. Okay, so. Can we do negative numbers yet? When am I gonna get negative numbers? I wanna know. These are things I would like to know about. Apparently that is zero, zero, zero for this thing. Hmm... What- what am I- Oh right, I do have my own thing, don't I? Apply force. Apply deadly force. How do I get the multi-part vector? That's what I don't understand. Like, these are individuals. I wanna use the multi-part! It's not there. It's not there. How do I do the multi-part? Give me the multi-part. I want the multi-part. Fine. I guess we don't get the multi-part today. Alright, let's do that. 
Whee! There we go. Now that's something. And then we need to go over there, right? Why is this so zoomed out all of a sudden? What? You can zoom? Holy crap, how did I not know that sooner? Apparently you can just zoom willy-nilly whenever you want. Okay. So let's see, we want to go in the X direction. Oh, nope, that was a bad idea. Wow! Well, this game certainly has a lot of polish now, doesn't it? Now I can't even save myself. It's just- it's just infinitely respawning me above death. How do you manage to program a game like this? Okay. I managed to save myself, because the game sure as heck wasn't gonna save me. Holy crap. How do you mess it up so badly? Alright, let's try 20 this time. And that's barely enough. Okay, there we go. That's more attainable. Let's actually try 50 for the Y. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. I feel like this game was not well tested at all. Right, well. Let's get out of here. What? You can walk backwards through it and nothing happens? <laughs> what? Why is that a thing? Okay then. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I think we're just gonna end the episode here. <laughs> right, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!